Hello and welcome to the Harriet Muller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. So carrying on with our Australian theme, I thought we could draw a kangaroo with a little baby Joey. So all that you're going to need is some plain white paper, you'll need a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like drawing animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you will find in the link above just here. Let's get started. We'll start off with a circle. So this is just done freehand. You don't need to draw around anything. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just drawing a vaguely rough circle there. Also, don't press too hard. I'm only pressing hard so that you can see it on the camera. I'm gonna follow that circle with an oval shape just down below the bottom right hand corner of this circle. We're gonna start the oval shape. So this oval is going to be slightly bigger than the circle. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. These are only kind of guidelines just to help us put in all the different shapes of the kangaroo's anatomy. Okay, next one, we're going to do the kangaroo's muzzle. So just add on a little muzzle to the front here. There we go. A little bit like that. And some ears, so an ear like that, and another one like so, just behind it, peeping out behind. Okay, now for the eye, so a big dot there. Next to the side of this oval, we're going to do a slightly larger oval. So just roughly, just draw in a rough oval shape, just like this. Okay, now we're going to join the two ovals. So the bottom part of this oval is going to touch the side of this one. Now for the back. So starting just here, draw a line coming outwards and then suddenly it has a bend and then it comes down like this, just like so. We're going to attach the circle to the smaller oval and just do the front part of the neck. Okay, now for the arms, they're going to be two lines just coming straight down, one there, one there. Now for the leg, we're just going to just kind of draw a line where we think that's gonna go. So just coming down like this, it's like a backward shaped L, and then the tail, going to be out like that. That's stage one. Okay, stage two is adding a bit more detail. So we're going to just erase this part of the oval, but just enough so that we can still see it underneath. I can still see it there. And the hind leg's going to start and follow the shape of that oval that we did. So I'm using kind of sketchy lines just to show that it's fur. Now we're going to draw the leg, so it's going to come either side of this leg shape line. So one on either side, I'm going to carry it on further up and round. I'm now going to raise the uh, marker for the leg. I'm also going to raise the one going along the bottom as well, just enough so that I can still see it. Okay, so following leg round, I'm going to draw the feet, the big toes and really sharp toenails. Apparently um, they use their toenails for, for fighting quite a lot. So they've got really long sharp toenails on the end. Can't really see them in our drawing. There we go. Okay, now we're going to draw just the other foot, just poking behind this one, slightly higher up. Random fact for you, did you know that kangaroos can't move backwards? I didn't. And also they can't move their legs, their hind legs independently of each other when they're hopping, but they can when they're swimming. Apparently they're really good swimmers. Another fact I didn't know. There we go. Okay, 
So now we're going to do, this is a female kangaroo, so we're going to be drawing her pouch in a second with a little baby joey inside. So this is the bottom of the pouch, so it just comes quite low because it's carrying the little baby. Comes up, just like that, and then we're going to do the bottom of the tail. The tail is extremely muscular and strong and provides balance when the kangaroo is hopping around. So I'll just draw a line either side of the line that we did before. In fact, it'll be a good idea to erase it now so it doesn't confuse us. There we go. Just carry it on and it's lying flat against the grass. Okay, we're getting there. Now, I'm just going to add a few more muscles onto the legs because they're really muscular. So one line going up like that and a muscle just poking around like that. You can also see a muscle poking out like that. Okay, now we're going to do the front limbs. So just erase that line just enough so that you can still see it. And this oval shape. There we go. Alrighty, so starting at the top, it's going to come all the way down. And then front part's going to come down like so. Getting thinner, long skinny arm bits, and then the front paws with long nails again. Okay, we're going to make this part a little bit more furry going in like that and then we're going to do the other arm dangling down I'm just going to raise some more of these lines just so that it doesn't get us confused so first of all I'm going to do the furry chest comes out a bit more like this all the way up like so and then the other one coming down like that. There we go. Okay, next part we're going to make the back a little bit more realistic. Back of the neck. We'll start at the top bit here and then come down and then using these furry lines, got very furry back, coming all the way down like so. Okay, we're going to perfect these ears. They don't look so unrealistic. So, just drawing the outside. And then it's a shape like this. Okay, now we draw the lines so that we can show the inside of the ear. And they're fluffy and furry, so draw some furry little lines there. And then the other one just poking out behind this one. There we go. Can't see that one so much. All right, now onto the head. Let's erase all these preparatory lines that we've done. Raising, raising, raising. Okay, so make sure that you can still see the preparatory lines. So coming down. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter because um, at the beginning, I think I made the muzzle part a little bit too long. So bring it round, down like that. There we go. And then the little mouth. And really big kind of doe eyes. Then draw some reflection from the light there. Okay, and last but not least, we're going to draw the little Joey from the pouch. So, 
gonna draw the pouch first, so make sure it's in line with this lower part of the pouch. Some furry lines coming round, and then we're just gonna draw the tiny little head just poking out. So little head like this, and then an ear, and then the other ear. And then a little eye, and the row there, just like this, just poking out. And then it's standing on some grassland, so just draw some grass randomly like this. Okay, I'm going to go over it now in pen and speed things up. So there's your finished kangaroo and baby joey i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please leave me a comment down below let me know what you'd like to draw in future and what parts you enjoyed what parts you may not have enjoyed hit subscribe and like and i do hope to see you on the next one thank you very much Bye bye